Marcus Aurelius, born on April 26, 121 AD in Rome, is widely regarded as one of the most remarkable Roman emperors and Stoic philosophers, serving as the ruler of the Roman Empire from 161 to 180 AD. Aurelius faced the complexities of governance during a tumultuous period in history. What sets him apart from other leaders of his time, and indeed throughout most of history, is the remarkable humility he displayed despite wielding enormous power as the emperor of one of the greatest empires in antiquity. Marcus Aurelius was born into a prominent Roman family connected to the ruling elite. The emperor during his youth was Antoninus Pius. This leader had no male heir and per Roman tradition, he adopted Marcus Aurelius at the age of 17. From an early age, Marcus displayed a keen intellect and a thirst for knowledge. Under the guidance of the renowned Stoic philosopher Junius Rusticus, he developed a deep appreciation for Stoicism, a philosophy that would shape his worldview and guide his actions throughout his life. Stoicism showed him his human limitations and allowed Marcus Aurelius to be humble in his actions and his beliefs, even in the exalted role he was going to play. Stoicism was the foundation of his rule and his celebrated humility. Stoicism is a philosophical school of thought that originated in ancient Greece around the 3rd century BCE. The name Stoicism is derived from the Stoa Porkila, or Painted Porch, a public colonnade in Athens where Zeno of Sidium, who was the founder of Stoicism, taught his philosophy. Zeno's followers, who gathered at the Stoa Porkile to discuss and learn about his teachings, came to be known as Stoics. The name stuck, and the philosophical school became known as Stoicism. Stoicism is primarily concerned with the ethics of how to live a good life. The philosophy teaches that the path to virtuous living is through the development of reason and the cultivation of a calm and rational mindset. This will ultimately also lead to a degree of humility given the limitations of any human being. Later, as Roman culture rose, it absorbed and was heavily influenced by Greek culture in various aspects. This influence began in the early centuries of Rome's existence and continued throughout its history. The process of cultural assimilation and exchange between Greece and Rome is often referred to as Hellenization, the spread of Greek culture. This cultural interchange contributed significantly to the development of the Greco-Roman civilization that laid the foundation for much of Western culture. Stoicism was one of the cultural assets that came from Greece to Rome and ultimately to Marcus Aurelius himself. Antoninus Pius died on March 7, 161 AD, and Marcus Aurelius succeeded him as the Roman Emperor. He was 39 years old upon becoming leader. Initially, he shared power with Lucius Verus, who was also adopted by Antoninus Pius, alongside Marcus Aurelius. Kings and emperors in history tend not to want to share power, and so this is arguably another testament to Marcus's humility. The two rulers co-reigned until Lucius Verus's death in 169 AD. Then, Marcus Aurelius became the sole ruler of Rome. He immediately faced the challenging task of governing an empire plagued by external threats and internal strife. Despite his elevated status, Aurelius remained committed to the Stoic virtues, particularly emphasizing humility. Rather than succumbing to the trappings of power, he embraced a leadership style characterized by self-discipline, wisdom, and an unwavering commitment to the well-being of his subjects. In his famous work, Meditations, Aurelius reflects on the importance of humility, acknowledging that even the most powerful rulers are but temporary custodians of the vast responsibilities they bear. He writes, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself and your way of thinking. This perspective encapsulates the essence of Aurelius's humility. He recognized the transitory nature of power and focused on cultivating inner virtues as the key to a meaningful life. The Stoic philosophy, with its emphasis on rationality, virtue, and acceptance of the natural order, played a pivotal role in shaping Aurelius's mindset. Stoicism teaches that individuals should focus on what they can control, accept what they cannot, and cultivate inner virtues. Aurelius applied these principles to his rule, demonstrating a remarkable ability to remain centered and composed in the face of adversity. His thoughts are found in the iconic tome he wrote, Meditations, which has been read for centuries. Ironically, these writings were not originally intended for public consumption. Meditations is a series of personal writings and reflections written in Greek while he was on military campaigns. It is considered a private philosophical diary or journal, yet it has become an important philosophical treatise that has influenced people across centuries. Marcus's stoicism permeates the writings. 
Aurelius's humility was not a sign of weakness, but rather a source of strength. He understood that humility was essential for effective leadership, as it allowed him to listen to the counsel of others, consider different perspectives, and make decisions that prioritizes the greater good over personal interests. During his reign, Marcus Aurelius confronted numerous challenges, including military conflicts, economic troubles, and the devastating Antonine Plague. Some ancient sources suggest that this pandemic led to a considerable decline in population. Roman historian Dio Cassius, who lived in the third century, wrote that the plague killed around five million people during the reign of Marcus Aurelius. While these figures are not considered precise or reliable, they do highlight the magnitude of the impact. Rather than succumbing to despair or arrogance, he turned to Stoicism to find strength and resilience. In Meditations, Aurelius wrote, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This reflects his belief that true happiness comes from within, independent of external circumstances. As a military leader, Marcus Aurelius faced the daunting task of defending the empire from various external threats. In military history, he is perhaps best known for his involvement in the Roman Empire's military campaigns along the northern frontier, particularly against Germanic and Sarmatian tribes. His reign saw the Roman Empire engaged in a series of military conflicts known as the Marcomannic Wars, also called the Germanic Wars or the Roman Sarmatian War, which lasted from approximately 166 to 180 AD. During these wars, Marcus Aurelius faced threats from various Germanic tribes, such as the Marcomanni, Quadi, and Iazyges, as well as the Sarmatian Iazyges in the Danube region. The Roman Empire, under Marcus Aurelius' leadership, sought to defend and expand its borders in the face of these external threats. The emperor himself actively participated in military campaigns, spending a significant portion of his reign on the northern frontier. It was during this time that he wrote the now famous Meditations. Despite his role as the commander-in-chief, he never boasted of his military achievements or sought glory on the battlefield. Instead, he emphasized the collective efforts of the Roman people and the shared responsibility of defending the empire. His humility in victory and grace in defeat earned him the respect of both his subjects and adversaries. The qualities he exuded are rare in world leaders both past and present. Beyond that, he implemented administrative reforms aimed at improving the efficiency and fairness of the Roman government. His efforts included reforms in taxation, attempts to alleviate the burdens on the provinces, and measures to address issues of corruption within the bureaucracy. Marcus Aurelius also made contributions to Roman law, seeking to ensure justice and fairness. He worked on refining and clarifying legal codes to promote equity and consistency in legal matters. Like his predecessor Hadrian, Marcus Aurelius was involved in various public works and infrastructure projects. While not as prolific as Hadrian in this regard, he did contribute to the construction and maintenance of roads, aqueducts, and other public structures. He strove to be the best he could while conditioning his daily life with a healthy dose of humility. Thus he lived until March 17, 180 AD, when he died at the age of 58. Marcus's son Commodus became his heir to the throne, and perhaps his legacy as a father that the limitations of power are most readily observed. Commodus did not seem to have his father's talent for leadership. Commodus's reign is often characterized by his extravagant and indulgent lifestyle and emphasis on his own vanity. Historical accounts depict him as more interested in personal pleasures, gladiator contests, and self-aggrandizement than in the stoic virtues of wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. One of the fundamental tenets of Stoicism is the idea of focusing on what you can control and accepting what you cannot. A famous Stoic quote that encapsulates this idea is attributed to the Greek philosopher Epictetus. Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. The emperor philosopher had to accept the deficiencies of his son, which were ultimately out of his control. Marcus Aurelius apparently ruled Rome wisely, but he could not make his son do the same. His words reverberate through time to us in his writings. Though they did not touch Commodus, we can use his wisdom today if we choose. History never ends.